mm -hmm. at long last. Finally got my gear all sorted out. I've got my GoPro, I've got my camcorder, got my phone, got my spare phone, and ready to go out and start doing some of these audits. Especially where the police are concerned, because my recent experience with them has been uh, well below what they should have been, not very professional, and in fact, ignoring the law. So that's one of the first things I'm going to be doing is um, getting that one and looking at it. I've looked up a lot of stuff while I've been waiting for all my gear. And I've realised that there definitely is a lot of police that redefine laws. They define the laws for themselves to make it fit. And that they're doing things not only in America badly, but in the UK it's getting like that too. And as far as I'm concerned, that's a big no-no. It has to stop. You know, the, I mean, one of the things that first thing to be thinking about is it's the police and the authorities. They think that we actually can't govern ourselves, that we have to have law and order to have order. And yet that's not the way it is. We should and could and do manage to keep ourselves in check. We don't need the police for that. Because, I mean, the police in the United Kingdom now, they're just basically tax collectors. And they're all for the corporate businesses. You go and start videoing outside of, uh, so, uh, recording outside of a business, or anywhere near a business in the UK, and they'll phone and they'll complain and the business will say, we don't want them there. The police will come out and try to move you, especially if you're not on public land. But if you're on public pathways, they don't want you there. They want to move you because they work for these big corporations when you think about it you know when, when the world's run by financial gain and economists um, you can't expect the police to actually I'm sorry I'm just getting some stuff through on YouTube I do a lot of commenting on YouTube for the people in America because what I think what I think is what they're doing over there is absolutely incredible and the things that they go, are going through, especially where their amendment, the Constitution is concerned. I don't even live in America, and I know the Constitution Constitution better than most police over in America. And those ones that want to define, redefine it, that it fits their little way of getting at you, or arresting you, or detaining you, or just simply being a bully and a thug, then that's what they'll do to try and do what they've been doing for such a long time in America. You know, you see these the, you see these movies from way back, and it was like these little hick towns. They used to have the police, and they used to be, you know... Like, that. I remember, that it's funny, because it's a Rambo film I was thinking of. It just dawned on me how the policeman just immediately starts, the sheriff or whatever he is, you see, immediately comes the big boy. You know, this is my town, you will leave. But it's still like that, because some of the recordings that I've seen when you posted from America have been absolutely unbelievable. If somebody had said to me, Dave, this happened, I wouldn't believe them, but I can see it happening. And some of them, they are just murderers on two legs. They are out and out gangsters on two legs. And like I said, it's pretty much the same in the UK. You don't know about this until you get involved with them. So something happens <clears throat> and then you know. And they come out with all these very strange things of this is the way it is and that's the way it's going to be and you will do what I say. Well, as far as I'm concerned, they can fuck off because I've had enough of it. I got called a stalker because I was I, I, I was wanting somebody to move their bloody car and I sat there until the police came. The police turned it around on me and said I was a stalker. Fucking idiots. <laughs> but there again, you know, that's the sort of brain mentality you're dealing with. They're very devious when they want to catch you. When they want to get hold of you. And they'll even put their hands on you. So you want to do something. You know. But what they don't realise. In common law. Doesn't matter whether it's policemen or not. Or police women or not. It doesn't matter. Every citizen in this, in this country is covered by common law. Your law. You may use all reasonable and necessary force. To defend yourself, your property, your house and your friends. So. This comes down to. In America, it's slowly, because I, I keep forgetting how big America is, and how many um, stations there is, you know, different subdivisions and stuff like that, because in, in, in the UK, it's it's just a lot smaller. So, 
these smaller police stations that we have in the UK, you know, most of them are not manned anyway, you know, because they're just, just cutbacks and stuff. But they are doing a job which could be done humanely, could be done morally, could be done ethically, but they choose not to. They choose to break the law. They choose to redefine the law. Again, very much like America and very much like France, Germany, Italy, Switzerland, all of them, Australia. There are good cops, but the good cops are just as bad as the bad cops in my eyes because they know what's going on. They stand by and let people be bullied and beaten up and tased and pepper sprayed. And they just watch, like the one where the lad was doing the, um, the right to carry. And that chief came in like, you know, like the, the Rambo. He was the, I mean, you could see in his head, the guy was as high as a kite. You know, he must have been sniffing some glue or something before he even got there. He was on a mission when he got there. And it was like, whoa, so he's going to kill somebody. And the little fat git, little fat twat that was with him, his seconder, his mate, his wingman, what an absolute gob of shite he was. I mean, the, the great way of that bloke, if you wanted to get away with him, just walk fast. He still wouldn't be able to catch you. He's that fat. Fat fucker. And the way he took that lad down as well, yeah, very bad. But the police over there are pretty much like the police over here. And the police are looking like what's going on all over the world and thinking, well, you know, if others get away, so can we. And the one thing to remember is there is no good cop. And you want to remember that. There is no good cop. The only time a good cop is a good cop is when they stand up and they turn around and say, you will not do that to that person. You will not break that person's constitutional rights. That is a good cop. When he can turn around and say to his partner or somebody else, when he's come to another scene of something, he sees this going on and he turns around and say, stop it. You're under arrest. That's a good cop. That's a good cop. I've not seen it yet. I've heard of cops. I'm going to go to other cops because they've been shagging their wives. And they've reported them about doing this and doing that and trying to get them the sack. But I've never seen a good cop go up and say, no, nah, I won't accept this. That's the constitutional right of that person. And it's the same in the UK. That's your right of the Bill of Rights. We've got this Bill of Rights, which is where the Constitution came from. And all these things over in the, 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 the world where the Bill of Rights was taken as a template. And yet... One of the things that's done against people in this country is the total ignorance of the Bill of Rights. The total ignorance of the law. The sheeple, basically. But anyway, I've got a home one there. So hopefully, I'm going to get into to a few people and, and try and get out and do a few uh, audits and just get some experience going because I need to get the experience going so I know what I'm saying. And that'll be in the fiscal and then I'll get sorted by then. But anyway, for everybody in America... I am so, so proud. It's astonishing that you, you just do that. And when they've got all guns and it's like, I'm just like, what? To us, guns are very strange unless you're at an airport or unless there's been a gun incident. Anyway, I'm ranting. Um, I'm, I'm waffling on. Anyway, for all those people in America, my biggest respect goes out to you. And for the people in England that I know, or the United Kingdom, then I'll hopefully get out on some audits with them. Hopefully start next weekend. So anyway, doing great, guys. I really appreciate it. I'm on the YouTube every day watching all the stories and sitting here just gasping at the, the courage that you have, especially at night. Anyway, keep going. Keep the keep the, keep the the fire burning. It's needed. And we'll get rid of these cops that aren't good and these institutions that aren't good and replace with decent people. One thing, most of the police who do get who turn into policemen, I think most of them start off well and with good intentions. But then the 300,000 and the 400,000 salaries they get every year twists them. And the, the salary becomes more important than the Constitution. than a right. And that's where they fall down. And that's where it all falls down. Anyway, bye. See you again. Toodle bit. Halfway to the end. Hadaway. Bye. Now.